Hey Pisces, uh, so for you and Virgo, I'm doing like a extra fun little bonus read, okay, with my new erotica uh, deck and my Divine Doors cards, because I got them today and I want to test them out and it's been fun so far with Virgo. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the cards. First is the Seven of Water, which is Seven of Cups. She's naked in a shower and she's got this dark looming guy in like a sex suit coming. It's like intangible danger and mystery and choices. Then we have temperance, which is philosophy, balance, uh, getting to some, I know this camera kind of sucks. She's singing out, she's swinging in like a, a bride's veil naked over water with a tiny little man. <laughs> then we have the world, the girls riding shotgun on the earth. Blaze glory, glory. Then we have punishment, which is actually inspiration. There's an old man behind her like whipping her. I know. I need to do this with my phone because you can see way better. The one of water, which is the ace of cups. Her bosoms are hanging out, and she's an Asian, I think, or I don't know. Don't quote me on that. With the Knight of Air, which kind of reminds me of Pocahontas, which is the, of course, Knight of Swords. So that being said, you have many options. One of them you feel is a little too erotic for you, and you're kind of scared of that. Kind of funny. Because I know Pisces, that really is. So it's kind of funny that this card came out. You're trying to dig for an answer to receive balance. Um, you're not putting this person on a pedestal because they scared the living shit out of you. Uh, crap, I forgot what the world meant. Give me one sec. The world in this deck means something different. Uh, ah, you feel constricted with this person. Like you're very limited. You don't have um, as much sexual knowledge as they do. Like you feel they're a little bit wild, but they're one of your options. <laughs> Even though they intrigue you. The punishment is that erotica, right? The erotica... Like, is this a good choice for you? It's like initiating. Is this is this good for me? Is this the right choice? Should I stick with a manila vanilla person? <laughs> oh, shit. But they give you so much excitement and fulfillment where you, like, just bust out every time you even think about them. You just bust. <laughs> All right? Uh, Knight of Air. Boom! Oh, sorry, I, I just I just got these. I told you I was opening them for you guys. Like, hey, uh, <laughs> it's gonna take you courage and strength if you decide to push through. Because <laughs> you're <laughs> you're scared about sexually opening it up and trying some new kinks. <laughs> I don't know who that's for, but it is for someone out there in my princess. Oh, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. It's a lovely naked woman with hair and uh, like seaweed braided into it. Her back to us watching the fire in the mountains spread while she just bathes herself watching the glory. What's that one mean? This one? That's weird. It's not weird, but it's weird. Oh, I need to quit getting new cards. <laughs> I just read intuitively. Ten. Uh, perfection of a situation, harmony, purification. Mars and Pisces. The person. Once you give in to the person, you'll feel released. You'll feel purified, fulfilled, all your wants, needs, sexual wishes granted, 
with the queen of water. Her face is hidden where you cannot see her emotion. She's also hiding her genitals in the midst of rain. Hmm, what's this? A lover, a faithful friend, clairvoyant too, who is very sensitive. Oh. So a friend that turned to a lover, they have a gift, could be vice versa, could be for the cross watcher, could be you, but you're just not so sure if you want that. With the Ten of Air, it's almost like a Cinderella story with this Ten of Swords. She's leaving and lost one of her slippers to the crying guy down below. She's on a helicopter with them long old legs. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's like different languages I have to go through here. Ten. Where the hell? Oh. Desolation, emptiness, research, incomplete. You feel very incomplete with us, this person, though, so you don't really let them go. With the Ace of Fire, which is Ace of Wands. You're... Alright. In all seriousness here. This person kind of scares you with their sexuality. You've always been with the plain Jane people. You're looking for m someone um, more on your playing field, but that's no fun. Right? Uh, this person was a friend at first, could become a lover. You need to see them as a... Uh, or you could actually see them as a mother figure, which kind of blew your mind and your conceptions about them when they were like, well, this is what I want. You know what I mean? And you feel very lost without them. You're very passionate with them. They make you open up and they fulfill that sexual need that you have. All right. Sorry. <laughs> That's what I do. I did just get off work. Bear with me. Pisces. Pisces. Give me a card. Give me. I got these little door, divine door cards. I really like them. I did mess with them a lot today. I see some rising Venus and Jupiter, please, for the cards that are laid out in front of me. A little playfulness about some sex, love, magic. Please give me a door for my Pisces. Interesting. There's a man in a red cloak standing in a very ancient doorway with a bunch of symbolism. I want you to be able to see this. Divine Guardian. I haven't read this yet, but I'm going with this is who you're supposed to take a chance on. Do not be nervous today or tonight. Do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. You are intimidated by this person. Follow with almost like a, only a little bit of a light in a dark pathway. You're not sure if you should walk through or not. Hmm. Change beckons. The path is shifting. The road leads a new way. Do not be alarmed as change beckons today, Pisces. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to pull one more. This is a nice little indian uh culture -y door. Deeper. <laughs> I can't help but laugh when I'm using these cards right now. You are not finished. You are not yet done. Dig deeper and deeper. The best is to come. Hold on. Hold on. As in, do not release this person yet. You are. They're supposed to be in your life. Their adventure. The sacred lotus. Compassion and ancient. The chosen tool. I see now the lotus is your spirit's jewel. Something about their tool and their jewel really is different for you. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. You do need to heal your heart first. We're, we're going to be something a little serious here. Mermaids, give me something for Pisces, please. A little more seriousness. <laughs> mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fertility and telepathy. I was only going to pull one. <laughs> Nonverbal communication with this person. You feel their energetic pulses. You can almost read their actions or movement in their mind that terrifies the shit out of you because it's like a heart link. Fertility is potential, powerful, creative energy. Initiating that energy. Be kind of careful. If you're going to be all passionate and stuff. If you don't want a baby, use protection. <laughs> use protection. Okay, it's a new fertile beginning for you. Yayama, ya <laughs> grandmother ocean, primordial. I want to look that one up. Another baby. <laughs> Another baby. Numbers up thirty-four. <laughs> Sorry, Pisces. Sorry, this could be for the cross watcher too. It makes you feel any better. Me as a Taurus pulled both those cards today myself. The fertility and the yamaya, -yam, but I can't remember what the hell it means. So the yamaya, -yam anyways. Uh feeling drawn to underwater, sea people, archaeology, exploring. Is this it? Yes. Understanding the power of the sea and respecting deeply female divinity in all its forms. Exploring your own power, exploring what you can birth and empower, understanding the landscape and seeing the divine in the curve of the hill, the belly of the mountain, the womb of the sea, and the woman. Uh, developing an interest in voodoo, Santeria, the lines which blur across the belief system. Looking to become more primal, to reconnect with your ancient self, like caveman, we take Jane. I'm so kidding right now. Um... Beginning to relate to people's deeper self rather than their social and often constructed self. Your third eye and crown chakra are highly activated. Uh, your sacral and base and all that good other stuff. I'm not going to read that. Uh, are powerfully gone and flowing. <laughs> They're flowing. They're flowing. Busting out of them soon. Alright, <laughs> please. Please uh, comment below. Us trying uh, to turn some situations into fun. Okay, I know some are dying out there. <laughs> Not know what the hell to do. Uh, but this is very clear. Someone sexually scares the shit out of you, but they're supposed to be in your pathway. All right. <laughs> uh, I'll catch on the flip side. Thank you.